When I joined the organisation, I was very impressed with how collective and committed the team were as a whole at Next Tech. It was actually very heartwarming to see a group of individuals that actually got on really well together and were super driven and motivated. And I do strongly believe the reason for that is because they are very well looked after from an organisational perspective, which includes measures such as looking out for their well-being and healthcare. If you're able to put those measures in place, you can attract the right sort of talent. It's also the starting point, the story that you have to give them about what you offer as an organisation. And what Next Tech actually offer is a very supportive, dynamic and collaborative organisation that takes care of its employees and actually listens to its employees. And that for me was an absolutely brilliant and lovely thing to witness and see when I first joined. Hi, I'm Mandy Halsey, Group HR Director at Next Tech PLC. We are a IPC technology company that specialises in hardware and software solutions for a number of industries. I think for me, health and wellbeing is absolutely critical. I really do not understand any organisation that doesn't spend a level of time thinking about its employees and their health and their wellbeing, because for me, ultimately, that is the bedrock of ensuring that employees are productive and feel happy in their roles. And I won't compromise by working for an organisation that doesn't care for employee wellbeing and engagement. We have given all of our employees access to a private medical cover as well as the other offerings. And it's there for a number of reasons, but one of the most important reasons is there to look out for employees' health. Because if we have healthy minds and healthy bodies, you know, we have healthy employees that are able to produce and to deliver and to work to the best of their ability. So it's a no brainer for us really. As a HR director in the technology arena, um, I think it's really important to understand what else is going on around us in terms of what other organisations are doing and what they're offering. I think the really important part here is to create our own niche and really focus on what we have to offer as an organisation and to ensure that we communicate that with our employees um, and we let them know at the start of the hiring process all of the initiatives that we are invested in so that they can understand how seriously we take the employee piece. And it's not just lip service when we're actually here to look out for our staff and we take that very seriously. I think for me, the, the two key concepts um, around attracting and retaining talent. Number one is to provide a warm, supportive, friendly and collaborative environment for employees to feel safe to come into work for them to be their authentic selves. But also the other really fundamental part of that is to provide support in terms of their well-being, whether that's through healthcare initiatives or those such items. But for me, those two are absolutely important because ultimately those are the key drivers to employee performance. It's very important for us to ensure that we've got a diverse health and wellbeing plan that helps to reflect the varying and wide ranging demographic of our staff. I mean, we've got staff from a number of different demographic backgrounds, age, sex, plus other diversity. So it's really important for us to make sure that we've got a plan in place that caters for almost as many people as we can. To that effect, we've actually recently just switched over to a private medical cover that covers pre-existing medical conditions. And that is because we firmly believe that we would like to cater to as many uh, of our staff as we possibly can that have got a range of diverse backgrounds. Here at Next Tech, the idea of a work-life balance is quite interesting because we almost go beyond other organisations in that we provide a balance at work to look after our employees, to make sure they've got the right forum, that they feel like it's a dynamic and collaborative environment. So we are not just colleagues who support each other, it, it extends beyond that. And I think part of that is actually very important because having a good health and wellbeing programmes in place these are the sort of concepts that help to boost those relationships to go beyond just a working relationship, um, which I think in then in turn helps to increase and boost productivity um, and to improve performance ultimately in the workplace. That's why it's so important to have aspects like a good health and wellbeing programme in place because you're providing employees with that care. They feel like they're part of a collaborative team effort the more they feel supported and loved and cared for, that to me is the, the bedrock of boosting productivity.